Okay, crew, we back with another one. What I look like giving up today when tomorrow might be the day I win. And as you see my title and thumbnail, I'm going to be doing homemade pizza rolls. I'm going to be making homemade pizza rolls and teaching you how to make them. Um, I saw this on Instagram Reels. I'm going to try to make it. Obviously, it's easy as fuck because it's like pizza stuff. But um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Uh, turn on those post notifications so you never miss a drop. <sighs> I have been pressing, posting every other day. I've been trying to stay consistent with that because I was for a minute and then I stopped and for like, a, to like two weeks. I didn't stop posting for two weeks, but like, I stopped that every other day. Um, yeah, let's get started. So first, obviously you need oil to fry the pizza rolls in. You're not going to bake them. Okay, these are fried pizza rolls. Um, I got the pan for the oil. I got this to drain the pizza rolls. I got this to toss the pizza rolls because you're going to toss them in this butter, garlic, parmesan, Italian herb, butter. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Speaking of that, I got butter already melted or softened on the side so that it's easier to melt, faster to melt. I got the, what is this? Minced garlic paste. I'm pretty sure it's the same as regular garlic paste. And then the Italian herb seasoning or paste. She uses, um, she uses, or she used parsley, but I got the Italian herb paste. It probably tastes better, honestly, because it has like probably basil and all that other stuff. And then, of course, you need pizza sauce, pepperoni, and mozzarella. And then to wrap it all together, you need wonton wrappers. First, let me put some oil in the pan because y'all know it be taking forever and a day for it to warm up. And I'm going to put it on low because I still have to fold, like, I think I'm going to make as much as the package has in there. I'm going to make 51 wonton wrappers. Or, want, or pizza rolls, wonton wrappers. 51 pizza rolls. And make sure you put a lot of oil. Well, I don't know. That, I feel like, cause you're gonna deep fry it basically. I'm gonna put a little bit more since I'm making 50 basically. And then I'm going to turn it on low. We can get that started. Warming up. Did that work? Oh, is that the wrong one? Oh, no, it's not. All right, so I got the oil going. I got all this stuff over here. I need to get a plate for sure. Um, because I need something to wrap the pizza rolls on. I'm going to get two plates. So then I have somewhere to put the pizza rolls while they're done. Um... This is really easy. It should. This video should only be about 15 minutes because of how simple it is to make these. Um, I think I can just. I'll just set y'all. Hmm. A few moments later. All right. So I got these two plates. Y'all not gonna be able to see my face, obviously, because I really want y'all to see how to wrap them. Um, first, you're gonna open up your wonton wrappers, your pizza sauce, your mozzarella, obviously, and pepperoni. And then I'm gonna get back to y'all whenever I'm done with that and cause it takes a hell of long to literally open everything. Okay. All right, so I got everything open. The pizza sauce, mozzarella and pepperoni and the wonton wrappers. I have to remind myself not to overfill them cause I usually do and that's usually bad cause it's gonna burst open in the oil and it's gonna make an even more bigger mess than I need. So I'm hoping I don't do that. But let's start filling them okay. okay i really don't know what she did first but i'm just gonna assume pizza sauce because pizza sauce always goes on first it was at this moment that he knew he f up so i'm gonna put a tablespoon of pizza sauce mozzarella of course wash your hands i already washed my hands because i went into the bathroom some mozzarella a little sprinkle of mozzarella she only put one pepperoni y'all Okay, let me, let me show y'all up close. Next next one I'll do up close for y'all. She only put one pepperoni. I just don't think that's enough. But it is a very thin thing. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't want it to burst out. And it's, the pepperoni's oily too. So it probably, you know what I'm saying? Do I need an egg wash? Or am I tripping? 
or is the pizza sauce supposed to make it stick together and i'm supposed to add it on top stupid i'm not gonna let you get the chip see i might have to watch the video again y'all one eternity later okay y'all so i was doing it wrong i do need an egg wash and the mozzarella goes on the bottom the pepperoni goes right on top and then or on top of the mozzarella and the pizza sauce goes on top and then you're supposed to put like i think it's egg wash so let me i'll probably still fry this one not this one though because i don't want it to bust out so i'm gonna just throw that one away trial and error trial and error okay so i'm gonna go get egg Honestly, water works the same though, so I think I'm just gonna do water. Okay, I'm just gonna get a little cup of. Oops. I'm gonna get a little cup of water and then we'll try again and see if it works. My family's coming home, so if you hear any noise, that's them. But, um, okay, so I did get the water. We're gonna try it right now, y'all. I'm still gonna try to do it up and close for y'all. Okay, so we're gonna do mozzarella first. Mozzarella, mozzarella. I think she put extra muscle. I don't really like cheese. I don't like that. So I'm not going to make it extra cheesy. You feel me? I like to taste more of the pepperoni. And then you're going to put one pepperoni on top of each. Okay. Okay. Like so. And then you're going to put the sauce. Okay. Okay. Like so. And I'm gonna put the water on with my finger. Like that. I'm gonna put it all around because I think she did that, but she didn't show it in the camera. She only did one size, so I'm I'm not sure if she did all sides, but I'm gonna just do all sides. Oop. Why did I just do that? Don't know. Okay. Now we're gonna try to wrap it, y'all. I can't really do that in the camera. Well, maybe I can. Okay. Put it over like that. Put it over like that. My fingers are gonna be messy. They really are. Okay. I'm gonna put it up like that. Maybe the pepperonis are too big for the wonton wrappers or something. These pepperonis are too, I think maybe they're too big for this. I figured out what was wrong. The pepperonis are too big for the wontons and Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> then my brother suggested just to cut them up in small smaller pieces. So I'm just ripping them in half and then put them all together. I think that's really what the reason is. Um so I'm gonna fold one up. I'm gonna zoom in for y'all. Cause man. I'm like, why is it not working? It's the pepperoni. I knew it from the beginning, but y'all yeah. heard me whenever I said that. Okay, so we're gonna try one more time on camera to get it right, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna fold all the rest of them up. And whenever I start putting them in the grease, I will um, come back to y'all after I fold this up. Okay, so put mozzarella. Y'all can see that? Put in mozzarella. Mozzarella. And then. Oh, I have to break the pepperoni. Maybe I can, I'm gonna break it down into smaller, like three, three chunks. Or maybe four. I don't know. Okay, and then we're gonna put in some pizza sauce. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. I think I need a little bit more pizza sauce. Alright. They put the water. I'm just gonna try one side and see what happens because that's what I saw on the lady page. And then I'm gonna fold it, fold it. I definitely didn't fold it right. Okay, hold on. Okay, fold it, fold it. They keep ripping. I keep trying to fold it over too. Okay. I think that worked better. It definitely did work better. Okay. The pizza sauce is a little on the outside. It's not fully like... Okay. We'll try it one more. And then... I'm going to try to make it work so that I can fry it. Okay. Because I'm actually excited for this. And this is like literally our dinner plans. So... Okay. 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 This one, this one didn't come out bad. This one actually is like wrapped actually fully. I'm just gonna press those corners down. All right, y'all. So I'm obviously gonna come back whenever. Um, I'm gonna come back whenever all the rest are, or whenever I have enough to start putting them in consistently because they cook three to four minutes only so um they're gonna cook really fast so whenever I'm about halfway done with like wrapping them I'm gonna start putting them in oil and that's when I'll see y'all y'all I shit you not I've been um it literally got dark outside I've been so I got all the pizza rolls they're about like almost 50 like I said well not like I said but y'all watched me fail on the other ones um they are a little messy because some of the pizza rolls have like sauce on the outside and the oil has been heating up ever since i have been doing it y'all it's been like an hour and some change of me rolling these up and i didn't even realize that like it's almost nine o'clock i started about like 7 30. yeah anyway um we're gonna start dipping them whenever i started turning up the oil just slightly it started bubbling so i'm just gonna start putting them in there or maybe not. I'm gonna turn it up. And then we could clean up. But yeah, so I'm gonna, st after all the pizza rolls are done and fried, I'm gonna make the butter afterwards because there's no room to make the butter. And I'd rather just sauce them all at once. You feel me? It's starting to bubble, but I'm just gonna wait like two minutes. Probably not. I'm just gonna put the stuff away. <laughs> and then do it but also i did forget one ingredient i think i said it but i didn't point it out i got the parmesan packets because we don't have the parmesan in the bottle so i'm just going to use what we got um the parmesan the italian herb paste the garlic paste and then of course butter i just got a stick of butter i'm pretty sure that's all you need because i don't want it extra oily hers was like looked like it was very oily i don't really want that so i mean if we have extra butter then it's all good with me All right, y'all, I'm going to start dipping them in. I'm going to get a close-up for y'all. All right. You ready? I'm scared. Oh, oh brother, this so guy stinks! Whoa, for an hour and a half, it didn't do anything. Okay. Barely. I have it on medium right now. Sorry, y'all, it's crooked. But I have it on medium right now. I got all the pizza rolls to fry. And I take three to four minutes. And the, I'm probably going to put like six in there at a time. So we got... We got to cool another 30 minutes on our hands. But um... I'll get back to y'all whenever the first batch is done. So then y'all can see the brownness and all that. And afterwards I'll try them. And have my brother try them for you guys too. And maybe my grandma also. Alright y'all, so I did the two, but um, these are like the first batch I'm about to take out. I don't want to give them too brown, but I'm just going to flip them over. Oh yeah, okay, great. They're golden brown. These ones are a little bit lighter because those are the ones that were like on, the fire was on low. But um, these are going to take out right now. They really do only take like three minutes, to be honest. Which I like because that folding process, I didn't know it took that long, honestly. But 
it's okay. As long as they taste good. And I still have to do the butter sauce and all that. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish taking these out. And um, I'll be back whenever I start the butter sauce and I sauce them and try them. Like I've been saying for the past two hours. But for y'all, it's been ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? All right. I will, I'll catch y'all. All right, you guys. So I'm about to start on the sauce right now. I'm about to get a pot and I can warm up the butter. It's damn near. It's going to melt in like literally like 10 seconds. And then I have to put all these packs of Parmesan. Y'all already seen this. And then that's how the pizza rolls are looking. There's hella pizza rolls. Um, I didn't realize how much it made. <sighs> but I didn't realize how long it took. For real. So. Oh, it's almost 10 o'clock, y'all. Remember it was 9 o'clock? So I'm about to warm up the butter. Y'all gonna see me do that though. Because it's literally gonna take 10 seconds. And then we're gonna sauce them in that bowl. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I'll come back whenever the butter is melted and I put everything into what. Y'all know what's going in there. Y'all gonna see me try it because it's literally been too long, y'all. Okay? It's been a long, long, long night. Okay? Especially for these damn pizza rolls. Okay? So whenever I sauce them and then I'll try them for y'all at the same time. Okay? Alright, y'all. So this is how the butter is looking like. It's a little thick. Uh, I could add another stick of butter, but I'd rather have it thick then like super super oily because you already know it was already fried in oil it got pepperoni in it it's gonna be oily so i'm gonna take about five of the or like should i say like five i don't know i think yeah i think i'm gonna take actually let me put that on my hot um thing i'm gonna grab five of these six or six and then, ooh, let me get that hot thing off the thing. My brain is everywhere, y'all. I literally. Oops, sorry, y'all. My angle is bad. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get stuff done. I still gotta edit another video for y'all. All right. Um, I think that's enough, honestly. But I'm just gonna add one more. Dang, can I get the angle right? All right. And now we're about to mix them. smells good she didn't use the italian herb paste but she used the parsley paste but i'm pretty sure it's gonna taste even better i think i said that in the beginning but i'm serious it smells hella good okay y'all i could have added should i have okay for the thumbnail for the thumbnail for the thumbnail okay i'm excited y'all i've been working on this for like two hours Don't be afraid to toss your stuff in in a bowl, y'all. If you do it right, it's not gonna it's not gonna you know do too much. Okay. All right, so now I'm about to try them. I got the garlic paste on them. Well, y'all just saw that, but you wanna come try one? Okay. Then. <laughs> Hi. Hello. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Hmm. Mmm. It's better with the. Better, huh? This is really good. Yeah, huh? yeah Jada did a good job. I don't have more pizza sauce, but the pizza sauce is going to spill out. So, that's what we happened. You dip it in the pizza sauce to make it even better. Yeah. That's what the lady did. Mm. Um, she did a pizza sauce. Okay. So, if you mm. want more. I don't like marinara like that or pizza sauce like that. So I do. This is good enough amount of sauce for me. What was y'all ready? Compared to normal pizza rolls, it's definitely better. No, seriously. These are super good. Look at your ice maker. I rate these a 10, a 12. 12? <laughs> these are good. Not gonna lie. They are. These are hectic. Indeed. Mm. Not gonna lie, piece, I'm gonna rate these a 10 for pizza rolls. Cool. Regular pizza rolls, I rate them a 6. No. Regular pizza rolls, 1. <laughs> yeah, honestly, they're probably like a 4. 4 or 3. Like, Rated you can eat them. 6 for the nostalgia factor. Yeah, 6 for the nostalgia factor. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mhm. Mm it's a little saucy because I use the salt and butter, but I think it complements it. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys try this recipe. It's really easy, kinda. 
if you don't make like 50 of them like I did. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. Bye.